Hello, my name's Lisa, and if this is your first time here, then thank you for choosing to click on my video. If you are a returning subscriber, then just know I really do appreciate you. I'd like to say a massive thank you to my members and welcome to me because I've been on my holly bobs for the last 25 days which is why you've not had that much content so where did i go well let's have a look at some pictures and i'll explain where i went to start off with we flew to portugal and joined a cruise ship called the norwegian star and this is a picture of the ship and then we went from there to Madeira. Then we went to Arrecife, which is Lanzarote. Then we went to another of the Canary Islands called Gran Canaria. And then we went off to Tenerife, which is where I live. And I didn't actually take any pictures from there. Then we went for two days at sea and landed at Cape Verde and we actually went to two ports but I didn't get off in one so I only took a picture of one. Then we went three days at sea and landed in our first port in Brazil which is called Recife and then we went to Maceo in Brazil. Our next port of call was called Salvador de Bahia in Brazil. Then we went to Buzios which was my favourite island of all and then we finally arrived at our destination where we disembarked the ship and that was in Rio. Rio has been a destination I've wanted to go to for a very long time and it completed a tick on my bucket list so that was awesome and here are some pictures from Rio. This is the port where we disembarked and this is a picture of Copacabana Beach from our hotel room and then we went to the famous monuments. Here are a few pictures from Sugarloaf Mountain at various points on the cable car rides. We had to go on two different cable cars to get to the top. And here are a few pictures from Christ the Redeemer, which was my ultimate destination. So why am I showing you these pictures? Well, in my opinion, if I was in multi-level marketing, I don't think I would ever have got to these destinations because 99.7% of people that join multi-level marketing make little to no money. And if you are lucky enough to make some money and go on trips that are provided for you by the company, then the disadvantage of that is you can't choose where you want to go. Whereas with my nine to five job, I can go anywhere in the world I want. So that's one thing to take notice of. Now we're going to dive into today's video, which is coming from two ladies called Mary and Shana. Why am I going to talk about them? Well, let's see just how many MLMs they have been involved in, shall we? So let's start off with Mary. I fell down the rabbit hole and went back to the beginning of her Instagram in order to compile all of the companies she's been involved in. So the first one was called Luminous Air and she was in that from 2017 and then I believe it shut down. The next MLM she's in is one I've never heard of before and it's called Evera. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled E-V-E-R-R-A. She was in Avera in 2020 and then she hopped off to Vic Beauty in 2021 and then she hopped again to the Olive Tree people in 2023 
And now she has hopped again to a new MLM, but I'm not going to reveal that one just yet. Now let's have a look at how many Shanna has been in. Again, going down the rabbit hole of her Instagram page. The first MLM that Shanna appears in is in 2015 and she joins it works she stays in it until 2016 and then she jumps to lula row and then this is a bit confusing there's a post for isogenics at the end of 2016 but i don't know if she's just bought the product or whether she actually joined it or not because in the rest of 2016 and 2017 she's still in lula row then in 2018 she joins hemp works she is actually a qualified nurse and she goes back to doing that for a while which seems much more beneficial to me helping people in that way instead of the supposed mlm way where in my opinion they're not actually helping anyone only helping them to lose money then in 2021 she joins modair in 2022 she's in elamir with the yellow strips still in 2022 she then joins the olive tree people and that doesn't last long either and now she's teamed up with mary in a new mlm and again i'm not going to tell you what it's called the reason for that is we are going to play a video of them telling us all about it which i am going to react to so let's dive into that shall we oh it feels so good to be back so i can share i know you're good i hello hello shanna is over there making sure that our stuff is live Yay. we haven't been live in a while it's no we haven't fun. It's been, been a while. Months. We've been. I don't see it. It's so weird how this is all the time. It's like I'm just gonna keep refreshing. Oh check. wait, now I see it. Ooh, okay. I, sure I change it because it always goes to only friends, and I have to edit privacy. Put it to public, you know, so those anti MLMers can take our video and reuse those. We should have messaged them and let them I know. know. That we're gonna... We should. We should let them know that we're here and we're going to deliver them another video and to make sure that they tune in. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're really excited to see what they create next. Well, actually, I never look at what they create, but I just hear about it from somebody. I know. I know. We should have messaged them. It would have been fun. <laughs> My husband was like, you know what you need to do is before you go live, before you choose a company, make sure you message them to say, you know what? I need the free advertising. So please make sure because every time they go into a video, my recruiting goes, it goes awesome. So shout out to all the anti MLMers that go and make videos of us because let me just tell you, y'all are doing us a job. I mean, they're doing us a favor. <laughs> Well, hello back to you. It's a pleasure to be doing you a favour. Although I have a great deal of doubt that we do do you a favour, because if that was the case, then you wouldn't block us from Instagram. And I followed you just before I went on holiday, and now I've come back, and now I'm blocked from your page. One thing I will say is I'm sure you've seen this video from other creators because I've seen it pop up in my feed. I haven't watched their videos, but the thing I want to say about this video specifically and any others is we all edit differently. We don't all leave the whole amount of content in and we don't all react in the same way to things that are said by these MLM huns. So please give me the benefit of the doubt and keep watching because I would really appreciate that. Thank you. And anybody who is watching this and has saw my post and is messaging me right now, I promise I'm not ignoring you. I have had, so I went on a Zoom and now we just decided, let's just jump on and talk all about it. So if you're here, you're probably going to get a lot of info anyways, but just know that I'm going to message you back. And I know that Mary, you made a post, so I'm sure. <laughs> I know. Oh we will get to them. We're really excited. You know, here's the thing is a lot of people have asked us, first of all, these are the top two questions. 
are you and Shanna doing this together? And I'm like, yes, I couldn't do this without Shanna. I love her. And we work so well together. We really do work really good together, even though we're both squirrel brained and we probably like could get a lot done if one of us weren't squirrel brained. It just makes it so much more fun. My opinion of them teaming up isn't just the fact that they're squirrel brained, as they put it. I think it's because they can't make it on their own. And if they could, why do they keep jumping from MLM to MLM? That is a question that everyone needs to think about. Because if you were making really good money in any of them, then you wouldn't leave, would you? But yet they've been in so many. So that points out to me that they were not making any money in the others. Does it say that to you as well? Let me know down in the comments. We talk about everything and she's become seriously one of my closest friends. So it's, it's fun because you get to work with one of your closest friends and you know, we have each other to really, here's the thing is, when you are a leader in this industry, and if you are in this industry and you are a leader, you know, it's lonely at the top. But when you have somebody that you're so close with, that you're doing this with as, you know what, a partner, a business partner, it's not so lonely anymore. Like we're like, okay, let's figure this out. We we're definitely really yeah. great together. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, so it's for really it. fun. And plus like, you know, it's really great for the team because if there's something that, you know, you have to do, then we have, you know, I'm still there. And if there's something that I want to do, like we can actually like unplug, which is yeah. beautiful. So Are you telling us that you can't unplug from the business and give yourself time freedom? Because that's how it sounds to me. It sounds like you have to keep going no matter what. And that's actually true, isn't it? When you go on holiday and you then have to keep making content. I've just been on holiday for 25 days and I didn't need to make any content to keep my business going. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, my YouTube did suffer for views because I wasn't here. But does it really matter at the end of the day? No because it's not my main stream of income. I have a job as well that paid for the holiday, everything I did on the holiday and gave me money to spend when I came back, unlike you. I really love it. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> we talk. So a lot of people are asking us, well, where are you guys going? What are you guys doing? And as you guys know, like, obviously, uh, we've been on the hunt for the last couple of months. We've met with so many different companies, great companies. Um, and honestly, it's been since July, to, if you think about it. So, because we did make a pit stop, but I will say, like, we've been talking to companies since July. We took a little you break. Probably know every I find it absolutely disgusting that you're laughing when you say you made a little pit stop to another company. But what about your downline? What about the people you recruited into that company? You obviously don't care much about them, do you? Otherwise, you wouldn't be dragging them from pillar to post in different MLMs. And every single time you do that, they have to buy a starter kit or pay to join it. Whereas you are most likely given these products for free to get you to join. But what about the people that doesn't happen to? It just makes me feel that you don't care a toss about them as long as you are getting paid. Every company that there is out there, like literally every company and probably have the products of every company that is out there. So well, today I'm just going to take a picture with all of them because... All of them were great companies. We just wasn't right for us. So there was something that wasn't right. But one of these days, I'm just going to hold up all the products. Right? Tried. It, seriously, it's crazy. So we met with the company that we chose in July. And we actually went there and we flew there and got to meet corporate staff. We got to meet um, our uplines, got to see how they live, got to see just the passion. And honestly, we fell in love with this company from the moment that we started with it. Like really fell. I, I know it was my number one pick and I know Shanna's too. Shanna was very much like, this is a great company. That I've seen a lot of content from both of you. 
And every single company you join, you say how fantastic it is, how great it is, how amazing it is. So why should we believe you now? I would say the things that held us back from jumping were, you know, it's been around for five years and we knew a lot of people that have done it, but we loved the product and we loved everything that they had to offer. We loved the culture. And so we were like kind of tight, like stuck, like, do we do it? Do we not? And then we came to another company and we don't need to go into that, I guess we won't go into that, but there were some things that we just didn't align with personally that we decided, okay, we needed to, to get out of that. And so yeah. what we did was we started all over again. We decided to meet with a whole bunch of companies again and like companies that we, we just came back to the same company <laughs> back to this company and kept like saying, okay, well, what about this? You know, like we need to, I really feel like we're being pulled here, but then we'd, oh, we, we'd like stop ourselves. Like, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't. And then we come back and be like, okay. What you're saying there is a little bit confusing to me. You went to this company, but you didn't want to join it because it had been around for five years. And then you looked at other companies, but you kept going back to this company because it was pulling you. So why all the backwards and forwards then? You're trying to convince, or you will be trying to convince people to join this company, but you weren't actually too sure yourselves in the beginning. Hmm. That doesn't seem like a recipe for me to get involved in it, that's for sure. And it was always the same thing. I mean, when when it came down to it, you know, for me at least, it's an energy thing, right? If we flew, we flew out there so that we can be in a room with everybody and just feel, because let's be honest, right? When you're on a call or you're on a Zoom, it's kind of easy for, I mean, yeah, you can feel things out, but you can't like feel the energy that's in the room. Right? You can't feel an energy that's in the room. And yet you're going to be convincing people to join this opportunity by doing reels and Facebook videos and saying how fantastic the products are, but that didn't actually work for you. What makes you think it's going to work for anyone else then? Especially when you've dragged a lot of your people from MLM to MLM to MLM. I certainly wouldn't trust you, that's for sure. Right, and so when we, we fly, it's not because we're like, ooh, we want to fly and get wine and dine. And I'm like, this time I'm meeting who you know we're working with. I want to know who the CEO is, what how his heart is, like our leadership team right? Our leadership team, we were able to go into their homes and actually watch how not only they interact as a leader with their people, but also as a mom and as a wife and as a husband, you know, like we got to really get to know them. And I got to tell you, I think that we picked the best leadership ever. Um, they have hearts of gold. They would give the shirt off their back. I'm asking for a friend here. But how many people are you going to invite into your home that you want to join the opportunity so they can see all of those things and have the advantage that you have by flying to these CEOs' home? None is my answer. I think in this last week, she probably went to the post office three or four times, like left her house, like in a second and went to the post office to send something out. I mean, they just are very servant leaders. They're they're the definition of it. And, you know, when you really think about it, Amari is, that's where we're going, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> um, we're, this company is literally just launching into Canada and they still have all the rest of the countries to launch into. So they're stable, but yeah, in momentum, like they're one of the top three companies in growth right now. So like for me, um, you know, I felt like that even though it had been out for just a bit and some people knew about it, so many people are in my inbox that haven't tried it. So I'm really, really excited to get this into so many people's hands because for me, the product, I mean, I called Mary, okay, because we got product from corporate. We got product from corporate and I called Mary and I'm like, girl, I don't know what's going on, 
but I'm waking up in the morning and my stomach is like flat. Like, I'm not kidding you. My stomach is flat. I was like, what is happening here? And I was just taking one of the capsules of what they call GBX fit, which it says to get your best results, take two, right? But my entire bottle is gone. And I said, I'm going like this to, and I call, I, you know, the leader, uh, Kenley, I'm sure she's on here. And I said, girl, I need your link because I'm going to be your customer. Like I have to buy from you because my product is out. And that is a total testament because I'm going to tell you, I'm sure if any of you guys have been looking for companies and I know there's a lot of you guys out there because right now it's just cray cray out there. Okay. So if you've been looking for a company, I'm sure you have this where you have product all over the place all over your house, in your cabinets, it's overflowing, it's collecting dust. And that's sad to say, really. But yes, that's what happens, right? They've revealed the secret of where they've landed. They've gone to Amare. And they're trying to tell us that all of the other MLMs that they were ever involved in are not very good. Well, at least that's my interpretation of Shanna saying that her house is full of products that have never been used and are gathering dust. So I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. Please don't trust these two. If they have got cupboards full of products, it's because they were lying when they were telling you how wonderful they were. And now they're going to be lying yet again for this new company. I mean, how can anyone actually believe these people? They really need to watch this video before they join them, in my opinion. So this was the first company that I have ever not actually joined and started taking the products, but I ran out of all my product and was like, what do I do now? Because I'm... You know, we didn't choose to go here at first, but now I want to be a customer. But do I want to be a customer? Because I think I really love these products and I think I really love you guys. Like, I just feel like it's where we need to be. And so for me, I'm sure most of you have saw my post, but if you haven't, go check it out. Um, Like without even trying. And you, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that I have a hormonal imbalance. I have, you know, PCOS. I'm not going to get all medical term here. Okay. But, um, I have been struggling for years, years with my weight. Okay. And it was just kind of like coming off and I'm going, is it because I'm literally working on my gut and I'm literally balancing out those hormones that I I'm having the issue with. And so I have lost about 16 pounds or so. Um, since, since we went out to visit Amari, um, I put on the same exact outfit that I went to visit Amari with. Okay. Just so that everybody can see, okay, this girl's not lying. This is her before from when she went there and this is what she's doing now. So If we scroll through your Instagram feed, Shanna, how many pictures are we going to see of you saying that you've lost X amount of weight from this product or that product or some other product? Because I know for a fact it's quite a few. It's literally changed. I mean, the products are amazing. My son is addicted to the happy juice. He drinks it all day. He's been having stomach issues. So I'm really excited about that. Please don't give MLM products to your children. For the love of God, how safe do you believe these products are? Because in my opinion, they're not very safe at all. But I mean, obviously you can see, um, you know, we just have so much excitement for the mission here. And if you don't know about Amari, um, they're actually trademarked to be the only mental wellness company. And they really, really target the gut. They target gut issues, right? Because that everybody is very quick to want that instant feeling or that instant product that's going to make you have these like feelings, right? And when people think of weight loss, okay, they think of taking this like magical pill that's going to help you to lose weight and it's going to make you feel all like you know jacked up and you know but what people don't understand is that sometimes when you're not fixing the root cause of what the issues are and i guess that's what has been happening for me 
um, you know, you really got to get to the root cause. If it's your gut, then you got to get your gut right. Because if your gut's right, then your brain's right. Your skin's healthy. You're, you start losing weight. You're, you balance out your cortisol levels. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, has to do with your hormones as well. Your cortisol needs to get lowered or, you know, it has to do with your hormones. Oh, she's finally said something I agree with. There is no magic pill. There is no quick fix. The easiest and best way to sort out your body always has been and always will be eating a sensible diet, cutting out crap that you eat, and exercising more. Oh, my little diamonds on my jumper were twinkling then they must be catching the sunlight coming in from the window that took my attention away a bit there anyway getting back to what i was saying there are no quick fixes just eat sensibly and regularly exercise not take handfuls of mlm products which cost a fortune are not very effective and will ultimately end up costing you a ton of money that you don't actually need to spend. And so it's like, I feel that this, these products have helped me in so many ways that I didn't even think about, if that makes sense. You know? And Molly just said, our gut, our second brain is the gut. And that's so yeah. true. And that is, Absolutely. you know, something that they, they definitely talk about too, is you know, that is the second brain. And for me, it's like, I struggle with anxiety and I struggle with ADHD. And, you know, I've taken, <laughs> taken medicine for both of those on and off. And so to me, if I can do something in a holistic approach to help my racing thoughts or for, help me sleep or help me from, you know, having a panic attack or anything like that, I'm going to try it. And I probably tried so many different things, but haven't really kept on it and haven't tried to heal my gut. Um, always never really thought that of that being a factor until actually going and looking at the clinical studies behind these products and realizing, oh my gosh, like what if this all does stem from my gut? What if there is something wrong with my gut? And that's the only thing that I would need to heal. Um, and yeah, it's going to take time and it's going to take, um, you know, obviously diet and health and nutrition and all of that is all tied to one thing. But what are you saying there, Mary, that you are going to be changing your diet and the way you exercise, but you are going to attribute all of the things that come with that to this product? Well, in my opinion, that is very misleading. Um, to me, to be able to make a difference with these products and other people that suffer from the same things, um, that is huge change. It's not just about self to me. It's about everyone else. Who can I help with these type of, you know, the same type of issues, whether it's weight loss, whether it's, you know, um, you having, you know, anxious thoughts or not being able to sleep or, you know, or your mood all over the place. I hate the fact that these people in MLMs think that they are helping people but they're not at the end of the day. They're just helping themselves to make money and making other people lose money. Dudes. <laughs> um, let's talk about um, hormones, women. I mean, <laughs> you think about it. I, I'm 41 now and I know that, you know, those hormones are. Yeah. I feel like it, as you're going like 41, 42, 43, 44, you're like, Oh my gosh. So for me, I mean, it's been in the last few years. That's when I actually got diagnosed and took, got my blood work done and stuff. Um, so I, I definitely feel like, well, there's a product here called Ignite um, that helps you with your hormones. It helps you with their, your libido. They have it for women and <laughs> men, those separate ones, right. That you can take. And actually I just found out you can take them together interesting enough so i'm like oh i gotta try that because it kind of i've been a testosterone boost as well which you know some of us need right um so, says, wait till you're 67 
I know, I know. But you know, it's so funny because I used to talk about things I struggled with in my early 30s. And people who were in their 40s were like, wait till you get to your 40s. And now I'm in my 40s. And people who are in their 50s are like, wait till you get to your 50s, you know, and so I just think it just, I mean, obviously, we don't, that's a perfect example. We don't get better as time goes on. We need supplementation to help us. As a person in their mid fifties, I don't agree that you need supplementation. Every now and again, if I get a cold, I may add more vitamin C to my body. And that would be the only supplement I would take apart from drinking honey and lemon. And I have various medical conditions that I take prescription medication for. And I would much rather stay on that knowing it's been tried and tested and recommended by a fully qualified doctor than I would trying any kind of rubbish, in my opinion, from an MLM company. There's just no way you're ever going to convince me that these things work. And I know I've already said that, but if they did work, you wouldn't keep hopping from company to company to company, would you? And I feel like this has literally been, um, it's been a game changer for me. We definitely need supplementation. I mean, we're, you know, there's so many people that say, I just eat right. You know, just, just eat better. No, like our foods aren't the same. Our foods aren't the same. We're already having like genetically made foods now. I mean, this is horrible, right? Well, and I think about the pesticides, even the dirt is not the same as it used to be, you know? So you you just Mm -hmm. think about everything that you are absorbing in your body. Even if you just ate celery and chicken, you're still taking on um, all the pesticides, all the hormones, all of that that go into processing our foods these days. So mm-hmm. you've got to supplement with something. If you don't, your body is not getting what it needs. Not working properly. Exactly. What an absolute load of rubbish you just said there. There's nothing wrong with my body. It works perfectly fine. And all I do is eat properly. I don't take any of these rubbish products that you are shilling. Um, And I love the fact that we have kids, you know, we have a lot of kids products, but it's cool because they kind of overlap. Like you can actually even take the kid products. Um, Many of the adults do. I don't know if you've seen that little pixie stick, right? The Mood Plus, which is like a game changer for kids that are Girl brain cannot like focus, keep on track. Like it's, but the adults take it too. Uh, It has an ingredient called saffron. And if you look up that ingredient, it will help you with your focus, with your moods. Like it is, it's a really expensive ingredient actually. Um, Just looks like another product that is supposed to help you with your focus and mood just like the ones from Prove It and other companies. Do they actually work? Mm, I'd have to say no after looking at some of the women that take them because their focus definitely doesn't improve in their videos, even though they've been taking them for years. So that's not a very good endorsement, is it? And it's been on the news. Like When I first found out about that product, it was on the news. And seriously... Like, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I tried it at corporate. I need some. She needs to go and get some, but it's my favorite. I think like I could, I think I've taken three of these tonight just to show people. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, at least it's going to be super focused. <laughs> She'll be calling me in the middle of the night. I'll be like, girl, girl, I'm so, going to we need to work on this. We need to work on that because <laughs> it does help you with focus for sure. But I also think it calms you down. So I will say that I don't have as many racing thoughts, but it helps me with focusing and zoning in. Um, I love these things. It says, do not exceed three powder sticks a day. Okay, well, I didn't exceed that. (laughs) I just read that. Uh, I wonder why it's telling you do not exceed three a day. 
I wonder what it's going to do to you. And I bet before long they will be exceeding three a day on videos trying to convince people to buy them. What's your betting? Do you think that's going to happen? So you can take this like it is or you can put it in water as well. So, I mean, there's so many products, guys, we can't go through them all right now, but we've got everything. We've got, that's our little happy juice, our happy juice box. Oh, this is so cute, y'all. Like, look at the packaging of this. So, you open it up, it's got a little how-to video. Oops, I'm like, wait, where's my camera? Okay. Then you open it up even more, take off this little thing, and look at this on this side, has some cute little like how to's and scan and what each product does it has the edge the energy and the metabiotics and then you open it up and there are those three products and so shanna she can hold up her drink she has one right next to her and you just mix these three together and there's your happy juice my daughter has had three today i'm gonna go like i'm i'm gonna need to buy more because <laughs> Mary saying her daughter has had three today. It's just a way of getting you to buy them. It's, it, you know, she's just saying that my daughter likes them and I like them. They're my favourite. But everything from this company seems to be their favourite so far, doesn't it? But with the Happy Juice, the really cool part about it is that it's actually three of their clinically studied products that is mixed together and so what it does and you know a lot of people have asked me that i've been speaking with about how you know my weight loss and stuff and they asked me what i took and i told them gbx fit and then they said well what's in the happy juice that is helping you and i said well it's actually pretty cool because it's three different ingredients one of them is going to be helping the gut okay so helping to really get to the root of the cause right helping that gut heal and then another one is a nootropic. So it actually helps you to focus. But another ingredient inside of that in nootropic is actually helping to regulate your blood sugars as well. And then they have a third ingredient, which is energy. It gives you motivation and, you know, more focus and energy and all of those things. So it's like an all in one that kind of helps with a lot of things, lowering your cortisol levels, like, it just helps you get your gut right. Once you get your gut right, it's like as time was going on, it was getting better and better. And then when I ran out, I was like, oh my gosh, now I can really tell. I mean, and it, it, you know how sometimes it takes you to run out, like you stop using something and then you're like, oh gosh, I need that back in my life. That. For clinical trials, eh? I wonder how many people they tested it on. Because for the majority of MLMs, it's not that many people. It's only possibly 20 or 30. And the majority of them are the customers that are buying the product. So that's not exactly a clinical trial, is it? They are trying to get you to buy it again by saying that it works so wonderfully and that they've run out. Well, if it was so wonderful, how would you let yourself run out? because I don't think you would. None of what they're saying convinces me that it works and makes me want to buy it. How about you? Well, that's it for this video. So all that leaves me to say is, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.